Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to this all school meeting. Probably the most important all school meeting we've had since 1968. So, uh, my voice has fled into the desert. <laughs> and so, uh, I've asked uh, our academic dean, Brother Bill Short, to read a press release which will be given to the public uh, approximately 11 a.m. after this meeting. And uh, after uh, Bill reads the press release, then I have a few rather lengthy remarks. The University of San Diego, USD, and the Franciscan School of Theology, FST, jointly announce today the broad outlines of a plan to affiliate with each other for the mutual benefit of both institutions in serving the needs of their students society, and the universal church. The plan calls for FST to relocate from its present location in Berkeley, California, to the grounds of Old Mission San Luis Rey in Oceanside, California, about 35 miles north of the USD campus. The move will affect entering students at, U at FST beginning in September 2013. FST students will have access to a broad range of graduate courses at USD, including courses offered in the School of Leadership and Education Sciences and in the Joan B. Kroc School of Peace Studies. These courses will enhance the capabilities of graduate students to serve in stewardship roles in the church and other mission-oriented institutions. USD students will also have access to FST courses that complement their degree programs at USD. The affiliation will also provide opportunities for the institutions, their respective faculties, and students to collaborate with one another in service, research, and other scholarly activities. USD is a leading private Catholic university committed to teaching the liberal arts, the formation of values, and the creation of ethical leaders. FST, the only freestanding Franciscan graduate level school of theology in the English speaking world, is dedicated to transmitting the rich heritage of Catholic theology flowing from the spiritual, social, and ethical teachings of St. Francis of Assisi and developed by Franciscan theologians such as St. Bonaventure, a doctor of the church, and Blessed John Duns Scotus. Quote, the relocation of the Franciscan School of Theology to Old Mission San Luis Rey is a great blessing for the Diocese of San Diego, said Bishop Robert H. Brom, Bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of San Diego. We welcome the Franciscans with open arms. Their spiritual and theological tradition and outreach to the poor will build upon and expand the vibrant 
faith life of this local church and positively contribute to the mission of the University of San Diego, a new evangelizing venture and alliance toward a future full of hope now opens up for all of us. Quote, forging a relationship with USD gives FST an opportunity to explore new ways of expressing our faith for the 21st century, said Father John Harden, OFM, leader of the Franciscan Friars in the Western US and chair of the Board of Trustees at the Franciscan School of Theology. We are excited about bringing together the spiritual, theological, and social riches of the Franciscan tradition and USD's excellence in contemporary sciences, nonprofit management, public service, piecework, and more. End quote. Quote, this new affiliation between the University of San Diego and the Franciscan School of Theology enhances the distinction and distinctiveness of both institutions. It offers opportunities for special academic and program collaborations that will benefit the faculties, students, and communities of both USD and FST, end quote, said Ron Fowler, chair of the Board of Trustees at the University of San Diego. To implement the plan, FST will transition from its current membership in the Graduate Theological Union in Berkeley, California. The relocation of the school will also require the approvals of its accrediting agencies. Franciscan friars have taught theology in California since the Spanish mission period. Originating from an apostolic college first established at Mission Santa Barbara in 1854, FST took on its current name and moved to Berkeley in 1968. Today, the school prepares lay, religious, and priestly candidates for ministry and leadership. FST brings 800 years of Franciscan scholarship into dialogue with contemporary religious and social concerns, emphasizing a special regard for those at the margins of church and society, for the poor, and for justice. <coughs> Chartered in 1949, USD enrolls approximately 8,300 undergraduate and graduate full-time equivalent students. USD has a long history of public service and was recently recognized as a change maker campus by Ashoka, the global association of the world's leading social entrepreneurs. The university's eight academic divisions include the College of Arts and Sciences, the schools of business administration, law, leadership and education sciences, nursing and health sciences, peace, the Department of Engineering, and the Division of Professional and Continuing Education. Thank you, Bill. My remarks are entitled, On Being a Pilgrim. <clears throat> the choice we announce today is the fruit of a long period <clears throat> of thought, reflection, prayer, and hard work on the part of many. Our journey towards this decision began three years ago when the Board of Trustees announced the formation of a self-study committee to assess the long-term institutional sustainability of FST in the context of changes 
in graduate theological education. We had people from all over, uh, experts in the fields of education, business, <coughs> institutional planning. And it occurred within the context of the planning of the Graduate Theological Union itself. I'm very grateful to the leadership of Ed Danzig, who uh, led this committee on self-study. From the very beginning, it was very clear to the committee and the leadership of the trustees and regents that the mission of the school was paramount. We would do what it would take to ensure the preservation and continuation of the Franciscan intellectual tradition and to fulfill our educational goals. The self-study was followed by a market study conducted by professionals in the field from San Francisco. All of the recommendations that we received moved in the same direction. An essential step towards sustainability would be affiliation with a larger institution of higher learning. Following upon this clear direction, FST participated in in-depth discussions among all the presidents of the Graduate Theological Union, and particularly with the two Roman Catholic sister institutions here at GTU, the Jesuit School of Theology at Santa Clara University and the, University, and the Dominican School of Philosophy and Theology. Words cannot adequately express our gratitude to all of our colleagues at the GTU, and especially to those at the Catholic schools, for their support, honesty, and rich sharing of resources. A little history. Coming here as pilgrims, our backpacks were filled with faith and not much else. <laughs> Our school moved from Santa Barbara to Berkeley, taking on our current name, the Franciscan School of Theology, in 1968. We had been at Santa Barbara since 1854. I remember moving here in September of that year. We had little knowledge of what lay ahead of us. The building into which we moved, this old fraternity house, was a wreck. Its previous occupants had broken every window and filled the basement with water. The school administrative offices were set up in what is now our small meeting room on the first floor landing. We friars had few resources. We literally begged our food from family and friends. Our living quarters were scattered because the house could not hold us all. And we were touched by changes in church and society. Classes were canceled in the second quarter amidst the turmoil of protests against the Vietnam War and the Berkeley Free Speech Movement. We started with 26 friars. I was one of them. And we closed the year with eight. We knew what it meant to be a pilgrim people, to be poor people, to be people on a demanding journey. But we had each other. And we had faith that our God is good. So we were also people full of great hope, people inspired to move to Berkeley by the Spirit of God, the mission of the church, and the social needs of the church and the world of our times. I myself was the first full-time, full-degree student, the first MA graduate at FST. As I watched the school grow, I was tremendously enriched by the ecumenical commitment the library resources, the faculty and student exchanges that this wonderful place made possible. This once fire red orange house located in the heart of Holy Hill and the lives of the people within it have continued to enrich my life and this has been my home for 45 years. Now our school is preparing to move again. FST is moving. Not because we do not like it here in Berkeley. We grew and we prospered in this beloved home with the help of so many. The educational expertise, ecumenicity, and generosity of our GTU colleagues have been beyond measure and will dwell in our hearts forever. 
We are especially grateful to our fellow mendicants, the Dominicans, and our great friends at the Society of Jesus. And our success has been made possible by the wonderful support from the local church, especially through the leadership of our longtime friend, himself an East Bay native and an honorary member of the Franciscan Order, Bishop John Cummins of Oakland. I want to mention one group in particular that is nourished, supported financially and spiritually and made possible this whole endeavor, the Franciscan Friars of the province of St. Barbara. This school is the educational arm of Franciscan Friars in parishes, retreat centers and special works covering five western states. When the school was financially strapped, it was the province of Friars that supported it. When friar teachers were needed, it was the province who provided them. When a new addition to the school had to be built, the offices you see downstairs, it was the province who built it. When new structures of governance were called for in a board of regents, it was the province who guided us through the legal approvals. And lastly, it is because this province believes strongly in the continuation of the Franciscan intellectual tradition and wishes to preserve in the church a place where lay and priestly candidates, men and women ministers, can study together that the stimulus to change occurred. We owe a great debt of gratitude to Father John Harden and our present provincial leadership as well as to past administrations of Franciscan friars. It is because of this good leadership that we are now returning to our roots in an ancient apostolic college, San Luis Rey Mission in Southern California. What lies before us is a whole vision of evangelization in the Western United States. We are going somewhere with our hearts full of gratitude and our backpacks full of dreams for the church and for the world. Our backpacks are full because we know how to get where we are going. First, we know that we will take care of each other. We have as a commitment and a priority the completion of the programs in which our students are now engaged in Master of Theological Studies, Master of Arts, Master of Divinity work. Our faculty and staff have made this commitment abundantly clear. The academic dean, Bill Short, with the very able assistance from the registrar, Jenna Nielsen, and his assistant, Joyce McConaughey, has drawn up a detailed list of courses and a program of studies for each student. You will be taken care of. Brother Bill and Dr. Darlene Prides will be available in the coming weeks for personal consultation. As much as possible, each person will be given particular attention so that each of you can complete his or her course of studies in a timely manner. That is our first priority. We will take care of each other. Second, we know that our beloved place at FST will be here all this year and well into the next academic year so that our commitments to you can be fulfilled. While we plan on a new group of FST entry students to start at San Luis Rey in September 2013, we will still be here in Berkeley, in this place, for a good 16 months, and possibly through May 2014. Third, we know how to unite our heads and our hearts in learning, in academic commitment, in discerning, in grieving. I wish you did not have to go through this. In celebrating, in supporting each other in community. Here in this chapel, in the dining room, in the classroom, in each other, in those supporters who are not here, God dwells with us. Fourthly, we know that we will get there with the continued help of our friends, 
our staff, faculty, and students, our friends here at GTU, our new friends at the University of San Diego, our brothers and sisters in the Franciscan family, our province of St. Barbara, the Franciscan friars who own, support, and guide the Franciscan School of Theology, our Board of Regents that has steered this process for three years. Lastly, we know we will get there because our donors and supporters, without whom we would not exist, have shown enthusiasm and support for our continued mission in church and society. We believe that this opens up for all of us a greater, more enduring, and more far-reaching circle of giving with a missionary purpose in today's church and society. Our mission and school endure because all of us are made in God's generous and self-giving image. Our backpacks are full, not only because we know how we are going to get where we're going, but we also are full of aspirations to continue our mission. We want to become, to be, the premier center of Franciscan graduate theological education in the English-speaking world, promoting the application of the Franciscan tradition and spirit to contemporary life, work, and society, both within the church and the world. We are now the only Franciscan graduate school of theology in the English-speaking world, and we intend to stay here. Our Franciscan theological tradition has a social mission. We explored affiliation with a major Catholic university so that we could provide the best possible graduate theological education in relationship to excellence in professional sciences and public policy, excellence in international placement opportunities, excellence in work for social change, excellence in commitment to the poor and advocacy for peace and justice. We found that excellence in the University of San Diego. We need to achieve sustainability in our mission, infrastructure, and finances through a cost-effective and economy of scale relationship with two larger institutions, a major Catholic university and Old Mission San Luis Rey. We wanted to locate ourselves on the grounds of a missionary endeavor deeply rooted in our own history and today's social concerns. Mission San Luis Rey, one of the 21 historic Franciscan missions of California, you can find it on the internet and see its beauty, is some 54 acres large, next to a multicultural parish of 6,000 families. The mission is owned and staffed by Franciscan friars of the Santa Barbara province. It is in a diocese with a vibrant evangelizing history. It is in a region where the presence of the military, one of the major employers, reminds us of the need for peacemaking, and where migration and urban-rural hardship shows us the concerns of the poor today. Our backpacks are full, not only because we know how we're going to get there with each other's support, not only because we're full of aspirations, but because we are also full of energy to engage a new Franciscan ecumenism for the 21st century. We seek to develop an ever-deepening engagement with the poor, especially among the border of the U.S. and Mexico through alliance with USD, which has a great commitment to service and justice and is a recognized agent of positive social change in the world. We seek to develop an ever-deepening engagement to dialogue and action between our faith tradition and the demands of the contemporary world through excellent education programs, including those in professional sciences, business, secondary education, leadership studies, medicine, environmental studies, psychology, history, sociology, social reconciliation. Through an exchange of classes 
and students with the University of San Diego. We believe that this is possible. And we believe that it will open up for our students, friars, lay, men, and women, innumerable opportunities for careers and employments to change both the church and the world of the future. We believe this is what society and the world need, the engagement between faith and public life, the engagement between faith in a group of men and women in community, on mission to the world. This is what we believe, and we believe it for the sake of justice and for the poor. And that is why we are making this step. We seek to develop an ever-deepening environment of evangelization where our students can learn firsthand to tend the seeds of the gospel in this beautiful world God has created. We want to engage secularity. Every creature, believer and unbeliever, in the world is a word of God, as our teacher Bonaventure says. And we seek to find this word by making a robust alliance between theology and the contemporary world, between families and our faith tradition, between children and our faith tradition, between youth and our faith tradition. We believe that Old Mission San Luis Rey and the University of San Diego is the location where we can engage in a practical and ministerial way the needs of families, people, and society. That is why we are making this move. We are opening up opportunities for our students in social service institutions, nonprofit work, public policy, and international outreach. I want to say it is a great blessing to be a Franciscan to be president of this Franciscan School of Theology with such great colleagues, faculty, staff, regents, friends, alumni, supporters, people here at GTU. It is a great <laughs> blessing. It's an even greater blessing to follow our Lord Jesus Christ, who became a pilgrim for us, who entered into our world to evangelize it, who sought out new people, new places, new things to engage, who planted the word of the gospel and the goodness of God's love every place he went. This is what it means to be a pilgrim. And this is at the very heart of our Franciscan educational mission and tradition. It is a great blessing, full of hope, because our God here there, wherever, is always with us, with us in each other, as brothers and sisters, in our hearts full of gratitude. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you're here. And I'm glad together we can be on pilgrimage for the sake of the gospel. Thank you very much.